मैंने हाल फिलहाल में इंदिरा नोई की मेमुआ पढ़ी विच इज कॉल्ड माई लाइफ इन फुल एंड उसी बुक से सेवन की लेसन मैं आज के वीडियो में शेयर करने वाली हूँ everyone welcome to insider gyan mera naam soumi hai i am an iit delhi and isb hyderabad grad is channel pe main apni bahut sare career experiences share karti hu main mba related bahut sare content banati hu thoda educational content banati hu on consulting microsoft excel powerpoint etc so if all of that is your jam प्लीज कंसिडर सब्सक्राइबिंग टू द चैनल आज की वीडियो थोड़ी सी डिफरेंट होने वाली है क्योंकि मैं टेक्निकली इंदिरा नोई की जो मेमोआ बुक है जो लास्ट ईयर आई थिंक लास्ट ईयर या लास्ट टू लास्ट ईयर रिलीज हुई थी इट्स कॉल्ड माई लाइफ इन फुल उससे इंदिरा नोई की लाइफ से सात की लेसन शेयर करने वाली हूँ बहुत ही रिसेंटली मैंने बुक पढ़ा एंड इट्स अ ब्यूटिफुल बुक ऑफ यू नो हाउ शी कम्स फ्रॉम अ बैकग्राउंड दैट इज वेरी सिमिलर टू यू एंड मी शी बिलोंग टू अ वेरी स्मॉल हाउस होल्ड इन मद्रास जहाँ पे ऑब्वियसली पेरेंट्स व कंजर्वेटिव बट दे एजुकेटेड हर दे give her wings to fly and from there she did so many things and eventually she became the ceo of pepsico one of the biggest conglomerates in us the book is all about her journey but there were a lot of key lessons on career on business on leadership to wahi se maine jo learnings pick up kari wo main share karne wali hu now before that no i would firstly encourage you all to read that book because if you are a man or woman right if you are a woman then to aap bahut hi zyada relate kar paoge as a mother what all she had to do as a wife the struggles that she faced if you are a woman in your mid senior level then probably you will relate to it more and if you are young then you can get a lot of inspiration on how to manage things like work and life and family and everything better and more importantly if you are a man you should also go ahead and read the book because i honestly think that most of the lessons that i got from this book are very like gender neutral of course book bahut zyada focus karti hai about biases for women women in workplaces etc but bahut sare good business lessons which you don't want to miss out on as well lesson number 1 as a society as a system we still have a long way to go in empowering employees to manage their work and life better now indran we of course talks in detail about this in the book from a woman perspective because she was a woman but it was a different time as well right like she was a woman in like early 50s as well aaj ke zamane mein hum matlab ladka ladki hum sab log kaam karte hai we all are working and i think these are applicable to all of us she talks at length about how of course we all want to do really well in our jobs but at the same time we have a lot of fa- family responsibilities we have elders who sometimes we have to take care of we we have all these passions and side hustles that we are we want to do for our own selves we have a lot of us have children and they need to take care of their children as well and all of these are full time jobs in themselves so how does a person go and manage all of these things ek saath so what are the things that indrani herself did very important thing was to build a family support system around her when she had two babies she had to call her mom and dad to take care of the kids and of course ye sab ke liye possible nahi hai and we in india live in families to hamare liye thoda sa maybe zyada aasan hai compared to someone who is living in the west but it's important to have the support system that's key and because it's not possible for everyone to have their family support system it's important for companies and governments to pace up and create these systems around us like better day care facilities better elder care facilities pepsico apparently indrani we talks about a policy that happened in pepsico where they built a day care center jahan pe like within the office premises where employees could let their child or you know they enjoy have fun learn whatever while they were working in their offices and uh, ye free service nahi tha ye paid service tha quite a hefty amount of fees but uh, employees 
really wanted to do that it was always sold out because of the convenience it provided so imagine if companies and governments join hands and build such a system for us even if we have to pay more for these things i'm sure a lot of us will do that right again aajkal bhi when side hustles are such a big thing a lot of companies have strict policies about not letting people pursue any side hustle as a full time employee so some people have to do it chup chup ke some people take approval sometimes it's approved sometimes it's not approved whatever but really as companies they should encourage their employees to build their passions as well because a happy employee is at the end of the day what is going to stick with your own company things like career breaks aaj bhi ek taboo hai because a lot of organizations don't want to hire people with career breaks unhe lagta hai ki outdated ho gayi hai ye knowledge but i'm glad actually a lot of companies a lot of bigger corporates these days are setting examples and making some progress in this front mastercard for example they have have a rehire program for anyone doesn't have to be a man or a woman who has been out of the job force for 2 years you know ne bhi career break liya hai wo ek program ke through sirf unhi logo ko hire karte hai so these kind of things right we need a little more of lesson number 2 again work life balance se related hai work life balance is a myth no company really goes ahead and gives you work life balance you have to build it up for yourself by setting your priorities right and communicating to your bosses and your colleagues the right way so book mein na indra nuvi bahut sare aise instances mention karti hai jahan pe especially after she had a baby right she had two babies two daughters and uh, there were a lot of times when she had to miss their parents teacher meeting or some other event at the school and she had to send her helper or their child care manager whoever to the schools as a proxy and she would feel extremely guilty about it obviously but at the same same time there were a lot of other instances where she and her husband had to manage their work trips in such a way that un dono mein se ek insaan hamesha ghar pe ho to manage the kids she talks about bringing her daughter to office jahan pe wo baith ke apna homework karti thi kabhi uh, indrana we would help her do her homework as well while she could take care of the late night meetings and the late night work that she had to do as well but bottom line being at the end of the day you have to set the expectations with your bosses well to manage these things in sab mein na companies ka bahut bada role hota hai because obviously if there are no policies like work from home or flexible working hours it's very difficult for any person to get this kind of flexibility in life and uh, manage things like bring work life balance especially if you really want to focus on your work as well and bring results to the company as well agar family side and personal side like well taken care of nahi hai then obviously your focus would not be on your work right you would want to focus on other things so as individuals what can we do we can set our expectations right with our bosses we can give them a notice well in advance when there are times when we will not be available we should set a cadence like i don't know if i told you guys but that i had a, a women boss in my previous company who used to leave work at 6 sharp because she had to spend 2 hours with her baby and then at 8 pm she would come back she was absolutely not available in that period of 6 to 8 pm non negotiable shable so those kind of things you have to set up with your bosses and uh, these days companies are becoming more and more acceptance like acceptable to these kind of things because everyone understands that we have other responsibilities outside work but as individuals also a lot of times we don't have the confidence to do that so treat this video as a reminder where you can you know proactively go and talk about things that you really need from your job agar tumhe 2 ghante chahiye morning mein ऑब्वियसली लाइक like, अगर तुम्हारा ऑफिस नौ बजे शुरू होता है तो तुम ये नहीं बोल सकते मैं बारह बजे ऑफिस में आऊंगी बट मे बी यू से दैट यू कम एट लाइक यू स्पेंड टू आवर्स इन द मॉर्निंग फॉर योर सेल्फ एंड लाइक यू स्टे बैक टिल वन आवर लेटर समथिंग लाइक दैट figure out what works for you what works for your boss and set those systems and processes up for yourself third important lesson mentors have a huge role to play in our life hum sabko career ladder chadhne ke liye na we need that support system we need our tribe we need our advocates we need our mentors who can guide us and then at the same time help us push upwards this was a very strong lesson for me from this book because indra nui jis bhi role mein thi जिस भी कंपनी में हर जगह उसने अपने लिए एक मेंटोर ढूंढ रखा था एंड शी स्टक विद द कंपनीज वेयर शी हैड अ गुड मेंटोर जहां पे उसको सपोर्ट सिस्टम मिला एंड शी वाज आल्सो नॉट हेजिटेंट टू मूव 
away from companies where she did not have a support system. But the thing to learn is that she also built that support system for herself very, very carefully with the help of her good work. Like she was a great performer, very dedicated to her work, which is why a lot of leaders wanted to be associated with her and were very invested in making her grow as well. Despite she being a woman of color in US, tab, matlab, kitne kam examples hote honge, yaar. Pehli baat, women ke itne kam examples the, and then she was a woman of color. So imagine how many people could have been against her, but she turned them into supporters with her good work, with her good nature, to the point that one of her bosses actually left the company to join another one. And over there, she was looking someone like Indra Nui to, you know, become his right hand or whatever. And uh, he, <laughs> being a part of another company, company actually requested Indra to interview a few candidates for him. He trusted her so much with her judgment and thoughts. This is also a very key learning in networking because you know, we always think that in networking we should only be able to do it. But here it is right because Indra Nui had put in so much effort in building those relationships in, you know, in her work so that she could really help her bosses look good in front of their bosses and uske return mein usko matlab guidance mili mentorship mili support mila for all her promotions and all these good relationships that she built which carried with her from one company to another as well and that's beautiful i think that's networking and uh, matlab main to us ka aadha ka aadha ka aadha bhi nahi karti hu aaj kal to be very very honest this was a very big inspiration for me fourth lesson a very key leadership related learning that iq itself is not enough a good leader has great eq empathy and that's what makes him a good leader one who can set examples for the people in your team iq ka at the start of the career, there is a lot of importance. Hota hai, but as you keep growing up, right, EQ is a lot more important ho jata hai because that is the time when you are actually managing people. So you are setting examples for them. You are also talking directly with your clients. So you need that EQ to sort of understand your client's point of views as well. There is an instance in the book where Indra Nui says that she used to get a little aggressive when she disagreed with uh, the kind of analysis that was done or with a person. And uska jo mentor hai company mein, usne usko bola pull aside karke that you know there are better ways to communicate the same thoughts to people and uh, that's when she learned the importance of EQ as well. When she became the CEO of PepsiCo she also again took a lot of steps in this regard. She went back to India and PepsiCo CEO so she was a chota muta celebrity in India already. A lot of her neighbors, uske mom ke friends came and congratulated her mother on her daughter's success. She was quite amused. So when she came back to US, she actually sat down and took the pain of writing letters to the parents of her own leadership team. You know, sort of a progress report ki aapka beta bhoat achha kar raha hai and you know, thank you so much for loaning his time for the company. You are a part of our company as well. And that was a very emotional thing for me to read and also imagine like the parents would have never gotten such letters from the company CEO and they were overwhelmed. They they felt more connected to the company as well. A uh, lot of times what they would do is promote PepsiCo ke products against other companies because they felt associated with the company so strongly because of their child. And of course, that's how if you take care of the people of a company, your company itself does well as well. Similarly, she really tried to understand you know, her employees ka point of view, what are the struggles they were facing and she took steps to bring in those policies within PepsiCo so that people were happy and then in turn the company was happy. By the way, today a lot of CEOs write letters to parents of the leadership team and that was started by Indra Nui. As surprising as it may sound to you, Sorry for a little bit change in lighting, but moving on to lesson number five, which is a very important business lesson that organizations win when they listen to their customers very, very carefully and only when they're able to provide value to the customer's lives. Business is run because of customers, right? So it's very important to take care of their needs and if, especially if their needs are changing. PepsiCo, how did PepsiCo initially grow, right? They had Frito-Lays, which was a chips company. They also had Pepsi, which was a soft drink company and a lot of other drinks in their portfolio. Obviously, Pepsi and Frito-Lays chips both are not healthy for the consumer. And there was a time 
in Indira Nooyi's life when she was a part of PepsiCo she saw very actively that customer needs were changing people wanted to move to healthier alternatives and usko apne life se bhi ye sab examples mil rahe the right wo apne bacche ke liye nahi chahti thi ki bacche Pepsi piye ya zyada chips khaye kabhi usne birthday party rakhi to kids you know they would say that oh we are not allowed to drink Pepsi so we'll have to ask our parents first before we can drink it so that was a big red flag for her the company was really Really doing very well at that point of time, and if she doesn't do anything, then the company would have been in her guidance, in her CEO ship. The company would have still done really, really well. But she knew that something had to change for the long-term profitability and sustenance of the company. So she started a program which was called PWP, which is basically Performance with Purpose. Performance because उन्हें पता था कि you cannot let the company profits die, but at the same time you need to bring purpose. You need to make the employees feel that they are working for a good product which is doing some good to the society. उन्होंने इसके चक्कर में एक R&D center set up किया, which was mostly doing experiments on you know Pepsi or uh, chips के packets where if you reduce the amount of sugar, how you can still sustain the taste of the Pepsi, or if you baked the chips. it could be still as tasty then she also took a lot of other steps like, like recycling the bottles using less water to manufacture pepsi or the other drinks that she was manufacturing they added sometime around this time or i think much before actually they added a healthy line like quaker ad hua unke portfolio mein which had a good healthy line of products like oats and some of the other things morning breakfast cereals juices etc so they focused a lot on those things and basically what happened was in the short term the company did see reduced profits because of all the investments that took place but the company was very well set up for the long term sustenance the employees were feeling a sense of purpose as a part of pwp actually she also put a lot of emphasis on people as well and that brings me to lesson number 6 which is humility humility is so so important we all may be doing such great things in our work lives but it's important that we don't bring that kind of sense of achievement to home so that everything at home can be you know separate from work life and can have its own balance as well ek bahut hi interesting sa kissa indra nooyi ne share kiya ki when she was made the president of pepsico right she was very excited and she ended her day early she wanted to rush back home and tell everyone at her home her parents only her mom was alive at that time and her husband she had been promoted and this was a big deal and she was very excited etc but as soon as she enters uski mom bolti hai ki ghar pe milk khatam ho gaya hai so go and get us some milk and she was like why didn't you ask my husband to bring some and her mother said he looked really tired so she was quite like frustrated she went out side got the milk dumped it on the counter kitchen counter and just burst out that hey i am the president of pepsico i am going to be the president of pepsico and you don't even have to uske response mein uski mummy bolti hai ki tum honge president pepsico ke tum honge bahut maharathi bahar but when you come inside the home leave your crown in the garage don't bring it in because at home you are a daughter you are a mother you are a wife you are so many other things obviously at that point she says that she was frustrated disappointed that she had no one to hear her out but she says that in the long run it has taught her a very important lesson about humility ki jab wo ghar aati hai tab usko apna sara jo achievements hai wo bahar hi rakh ke aana chahiye and these days it's even even more important because you know husbands and wives both are working in a lot of situations imagine agar dono apne baggages leke ghar pe aaye to kitna clash ho sakta hai kitna zyada like imbalance ho sakta hai ghar ki energy bigad sakti hai in addition to the lesson it was a beautiful story to me as well and the last lesson is about biases against women yes you saw that coming right i mean ye book padh ke mujhe realize hua ki indira nooyi is like what 60 plus years old today and uh, some of the things that she faced a lot of us still face that in today's situation like it's 2022 and we are still going through the same thing yes a lot of progress has been made but abhi kafi kuch karna baki hai regarding biases against women just to give you an example Indra when she became the CEO she she is obviously a woman of color right and uh, by the time she became a CEO she was already president she had held like good leadership positions within the company she had done quite a bit she had a lot of proven results to show basically that she deserved 
to be the CEO. But still, when the news came out, most of the media focused on the exoticism of Indra Noe because she was a woman of color, she was sari clad, you know, like those terms jo media use karti hai. As if those were the reasons, I mean, she was extraordinary because of those reasons and that's what made her the CEO, not her work or her achievements. As a woman, she also tells how she was very harshly judged a lot of times on her appearance as well. Like, she had never given a very popular interview. Diya tha. And uske baad, a stylist reached out to her saying that, you know, it's not cool to wear things from last season. Uh, so are you okay if I give you a style makeover? And she obviously took it in a positive way. She allowed that person to uh, give her a style and she felt a lot more confident after that. But the point is that men, for example, they would probably wear the same tuxedo again and again and again without anyone questioning but a woman can't because yeah because she's a woman and she has to take care of her appearance as much as her like the things that matter like IQ or the changes that she brings to a company. She also talks at length about her own parents. Matlab, wo ek bahut hi humble family se belong karti thi, where they were not conservative in the sense that they didn't want a girl child or they didn't want to educate their girl child or anything like that. Ek taraf to unhone puri freedom di usko fly karne ke liye to, you know, become the person that she wanted to be, to achieve big things in her career. But at the same time, they wanted her to get married at the right time, to have kids, to be a good daughter-in-law. So basically, she says my parents, especially her mother, always had one foot on the accelerator and one foot on the brake. And that's probably the dilemma that a lot of parents these days also face if they have a girl child. I mean, today we have women ki safety ke baare mein tension to leni hi padti hai na like if a woman does a night shift we, the parents are scared uske ghar wale scared ho jayegi pata nahi wapas ghar kaise aayegi raste mein usse kuch ho to nahi jayega once at NCR, Indra was asked, how did you do it all? Like, how did you manage to get so many things at PepsiCo while keeping your family together? And her answer was, it wasn't easy. Like, there was a lot of late nights, but at the same time, there was guilt, there was pain, there were trade-offs. And she says that as a woman, that is bound to happen because somehow we are just wired that way and which is true yeah men a lot of times if they're at work they don't think about their families but women on the other hand when they're at work they're constantly thinking of khana banaoga ki ne, you know ghar pe sab sahi hoga ki ne, grocery hai ki ne, and all these random bs with that let me end this video with a beautiful line that i came across in the book she says i know i had it easy but it was still not easy i'm sure you relate to that at some level in your life as well i know i do i mean uski life dekhe to she had a great family she had her parents to support you know family wise when she had kids she had a very supportive husband who in fact quit a job once to relocate to where indra was working she had great men mentors to support her but still the journey was not easy for her she had her own share of struggles and I realized realize that you know, how easily we judge people's life. Ko judge kar lete hai, ki, Are, iski life will be very easy. Its parents are very chill, hai, say for instance. You know. But the truth is, everyone is fighting a battle of their own. Everyone has their own struggles. And it's really unfair to compare your struggles with someone else's. In your head, it may be that your struggles are very big in the comparison. Mein, but that's really not true. We are all born with some or the other kind of privileges in life. And we are all trying to make the best of it. So things like, you know, ladkiyo ka to job asani se lag jata hai because of diversity policies. Ya, are category ka hai ye, isli iska IIT mein ho gaya. These kind of comments really need to stop. Okay, so kaafi preachy ho gaya I think ye video but uh, hope you found this chit chatty kind of a video where I shared life lessons. If you did, please let me know in the comments. I do read some interesting books and sometimes time and again maybe I would like to come up and share my learnings from other books as well. Yeah, that's about it. Do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit the like button and I'm going to see you soon. Till then, bye.